Welcome back to Plot Twist, my new Excel chart series where we get creative and transform boring data into unique charts guaranteed to impress. In today's episode, we'll learn how to track KPIs in Excel with a customizable scorecard chart. Are you ready for this? Let's get started. A scorecard chart is a fun chart that visualizes whether a KPI passed or failed using icons. A scorecard chart is similar to an image bar chart, but instead of replacing the columns with images, we are going to replace them with icons. For example, here we have five KPIs along with their scores, and we want to visualize if each passed or failed using a scorecard chart. First things first, we need to set up our data. To create a scorecard chart, we need to create two data series one representing the KPIs that passed and another that failed. For the past series, we need to enter a one for KPIs that passed and a zero for the ones that failed. We'll repeat this process for the failed series, but this time enter one for KPIs that failed and zero for the ones that passed. This will plot the past and failed KPIs as separate series in the chart. To return a one for each KPI that passed, I'm going to enter the if function, select the first KPI score, and enter greater than or equal to 80% to test if the KPI passed as the criteria argument. Next, enter the outputs by entering a 1 as the value if true argument and a 0 as the value if false argument. Fill this formula across the row, and we've successfully entered a 1 for each KPI that passed. Now we just need to repeat this for the failed series by copying the formula we just wrote, pasting it in the first value of the failed series, and swapping the outputs to return a one for KPIs that failed and zero that passed. Now that we've set up our data, it's time to create a scorecard chart. To create the chart, select the new data table we just created, navigate to the insert tab, open the bar column chart dropdown and select a 2D clustered column chart. Next, let's clean up the chart a little bit by deleting the elements we don't need. So I'm going to delete the chart title, grid lines, legend and Y axis, by selecting them in the chart and pressing the delete key. Lastly, let's make the columns as wide as possible so that the icons fill the chart by right-clicking any column, selecting format data series, and setting the gap width to zero and the series overlap to 100%. Now that we've formatted our chart, we just need to replace the columns with icons. To insert icons, navigate to the insert tab and select icons to open the icon library. There are thousands of icons to choose from, but we want to use a checkmark icon to represent KPIs that passed and an X icon for KPIs that failed. So I'm going to scroll all the way over to the signs and symbols group, select the filled circle checkmark and X icons, and then hit insert to insert them into our worksheet. Before we insert these icons into our chart, we need to update the fill colors. First, let's make the checkmark icon green by selecting the icon, navigating to the graphics format tab, opening the graphics fill dropdown and selecting green. Next, let's make the X icon red by selecting the icon, opening the graphics fill dropdown again, and this time selecting red. Now that we formatted our icons, we are ready to insert them into our chart. To insert the icons, all we have to do is paste them into the chart's columns. Let's start by replacing the past series by selecting the checkmark icon, pressing Ctrl C to copy it, selecting any of the past series columns in the chart, and pressing Ctrl V to replace the columns with the icon. Next, let's repeat this for the KPIs that failed by selecting the X icon, pressing Ctrl C, selecting any orange column and pressing Ctrl V to insert the X icon into the chart. Now that we've successfully replaced the columns with icons, all we need to do is resize the chart a little bit so that the icons are more proportionate and we are done. We can easily see which KPIs passed and failed thanks to our scorecard chart. Scorecard charts are guaranteed to help you score big points with your boss. You can thank me later. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode of Plot Twist.